Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, a video after so long. I can't imagine how it was the whole um, gap. I was so busy and I didn't film. Uh, I didn't feel like filming because I was so tired whenever I was at home. So finally, I got some time and I'm filming this video. But another reason why I was waiting for filming a new video this month was I wanted my first video of this month to be the five bag unboxing. But they still haven't uh, notified or sent me an email. But um, I really don't know what to. Uh, do about that. I have to check when I'm going to get that. Well, today I filmed this uh, summery bronzed uh, kind of makeup look, and I was filming the intro part, the first few steps, like three times, and every time it did not get recorded. It just kept kept cutting every time. So I just had to show you what I basically did without actually showing you the tutorial so please bear with me just a few steps were missing but i explained whatever i did and that's it so i really hope you guys like it i filmed it wearing my home clothes and i changed it back again because i'm going out so i really hope you enjoyed this look and you get to learn something nice this time something new and please thumbs up and please please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye. So first and foremost, I'll be taking this color right here, which I'm pointing at with my brush. And I went on with my crease and I went on over my crease. And then I mixed these two colors right there and again blended it to define my crease. So that's how it looked like. And next, I took this um, single eyeshadow by NYX. This is called Burgundy Pearl and just went to intensify the crease even more so after that i just kept on blending and as i mentioned i got some problem with my camera and it stopped filming when i was doing that so only that part was missing but before that i used this concealer by color bar as my uh, eyeshadow base and for my face i used this uh, makeup academy's pro base primer and I was just prepping my skin and moving on to the eyes. I took this um, HD Mineral Makeup Foundation, Powder Foundation by Color Essence. And I'm taking a Real Techniques blush and I'm a brush and I'm going on my eyes, the lids, so that it gives a really nice matte effect. And I really can't talk today, I don't know why. Well, I'm using this because it has this orange neutral effect to um, this color and it suits my skin. So I'm using this for my lid. And I think summer is all about browns and oranges and all those bronzy kind of tones. So I'm taking this burgundy pearl by NYX again and going on my crease just to intensify the whole thing. And also making sure that the lid color which we used didn't uh, touch our uh, crease as much. Just go light handed and don't overboard it as much as you need. And I'm taking this same uh, color essence powder again and blending it on my lid and setting everything then taking a clean blending brush and basically blending everything out you know the drill I'm taking this uh, blending brush by color bar and I'll be taking this golden uh, bronzer this is the bronzer by elf cosmetics this is a beautiful bronzer I'm taking a decent amount a generous amount not very light I wanted to take a little bit at the moment but then I was like what the hell it's a summer look and let's just go overboard and I'm putting it where I use this color bar, color sense uh, mineral makeup I'm going on the lid itself so that it's all glowy and nice I'm not going above the crease I'm just putting that on the lid just patting it all out 
so that it really gives the really nice uh, bronzy summery look that golden glow to your eyes the camera might not catch up its uh, real color but it's really beautiful then I'm taking my foundation this is by Lotus Herbals it's the Eco Stay Nourishing Foundation in Almond and I'm taking my Sigma brush and I'll be going all over my face with it this is a new foundation which I was testing and I surprisingly liked it it's a really nice foundation and I will surely recommend this to you guys do try it out and they don't have a lot of uh, colors in this I got it from amazon.com and I was really surprised this shade actually matched my skin tone perfectly but if you can find your own uh, skin tone uh, your own skin shade then it's really good you should try it out and I think this look is perfect for summer's um, go-to looks if you are into makeup every day and as I forgot my eyes before uh, going for my foundation I took this uh, gel liner by Maybelline and putting that making a little baby wing not going dramatic I know I take a lot of time doing this but I'm trying to learn myself I'm not perfect so yeah So once we are done with it, I am using this concealer. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch one. It will just highlight the whole uh, area which I want to highlight. And I will be leaving the foundation area because it's a bit dark as compared to my uh, skin and of course this concealer. So I will be using this in like for highlighting and also for the purpose of bronzing my skin tone i'll be leaving that foundation area bare then i'll be taking this another uh, this is the brush by real techniques and i'll be blending it slightly a little bit and then i'll be blending fully with my fingers you can actually use your beauty blender but i was just too lazy to go and grab it so i was just working with my fingers on this one i highlighted all the areas which I need the light to fall on and this includes the under eye area, the nose, the cupid's bow and the jawline basically not the, exactly the jawline but the area between the hollows and the jaw because if you highlight the jaw or hollows then it will just lose the purpose so yeah I know it looks crazy right now but it will just blend in and look sorted. As you can see the hollows are still bare so I will be using the this darker shade in my Estee Lauder's uh, color portfolio palette and I will be using the lightest lighter color which is right beside that to uh, set my under eye etc and the dark one to set the contour area if that makes any sense guys and also the eyeshadows which I used in the beginning was from the Estee Lauder color portfolio as well that was the limited edition I don't think you will be getting that anywhere but any similar colors will work just look for the similar colors and better quality that's it So here I am using the Color Essence HD foundation again and I am just going to bronze. I am um, not contouring that much as much as I am bronzing because bronzing actually gives your face that summery glow and I am not a very big fan of um, contouring so it will just it will just have the multi-purpose kind of a thing where it's giving the summer glow and giving a slimmer effect to your face as well I'm just going to bronze my forehead area as well into my hairline which will just warm up the whole face I 
as you can see my nose also has that little bit of contour because of the highlighting which we did earlier so no need of contouring but if you want you can just go ahead and I'm using the same uh, brush which I used for my concealer and I'm just contouring a little bit more taking that Estee Lauder's um, dark color over there which I showed you a few minutes back just to intensify it Now I'm just blending everything out with my same foundation brush so that everything is nice and sorted and no harsh lines are seen. Now I'll be taking this uh, golden pencil i think this is also by color essence it's a really pretty gold color and i'll be highlighting my brow bone with it i decided to go with a golden highlight because of course it's a summer look that we're doing and not a frosty one and i'll also be going in my inner corners with it and blending it all so that it really opens up the eye all the products will be below so if you are interested you can just check out the description box I will have all, all the product info below And I actually uh, took that brush which I uh, used my gel liner for and I mixed it with the burgundy pearl eyeshadow by NYX so that all the residue of ge the gel liner will be mixed with the eyeshadow and it will give the nice effect for my lower lash line as compared to just using the eyeshadow itself. If you mix it with the residue like if you just take the brush which you used for your eyes the eyeliner you mix it with the eyeshadow it will just intensify the smoky look so after that I'll be going with the golden eye uh, crayon by the color essence which I used for my highlight and I just put that in the inner rim of the waterline for my blush I'm using this palette by Milan Paris I got this from Flipkart and I'm taking the brightest one of course because it's a summer look and I didn't go overboard with it because I don't want to look like a cartoon but I'm just using an angled brush by basic care and putting it on the apples of my cheeks and for my uh, highlight I'm taking a big fluffy brush and the same elf golden bronzer which I used for my eyes just to give the glowy summery golden goddess kind of a look or you can also say the Jennifer Lopez kind of look which I'm blending onto my nose and the forehead the center of the temples of the forehead basically the t-zone area then for my lips I'm taking this color by uh, this lip liner by Bonjour um, this is the craziest color which I can find but I don't recommend this uh, comp this brand you can go with a better brand I just used this because this was the most funkiest color I had and I don't remember the name I will link it down below for sure I got it from Amazon and over that I went with the super stay 14 hour lipstick the matte ones in I guess this is stay with me coral 430 by Maybelline 
this actually goes very well with the lip liner and this was the brightest lipstick and lip liner combo which I had which goes with the summer look so that's why I went with this you can go with any other funky lipstick or if you don't like funky you can just totally skip that but this is the final look guys I really really hope you liked it I used this makeup academy's pro base fixing mist as my setting powder which takes time drying but ultimately it gives you a really nice geo look